morning, YouTubers. Um, I wanted to um, give everybody a little update on our trip um, and let everybody know um, I have finally reached a realtor over in the Fort Smith, Arkansas area. Um, I talked to her earlier uh, in the week last week. Uh, we're trading emails back and forth. I finally got somebody to answer on the farm, the landandfarm.com channel. They're saying that anytime you uh, contact them through that site, that most every email goes to spam. So I'm not sure why, if they know that, why they're not checking the spam. I have no idea. Um, I was told that uh, the realtors in that area, uh, by at least three realtors, I was told that they're very lazy, which I think is strange. Uh, I guess they don't have a very busy real estate market out there, and uh, people aren't lining up to move out there for any other reason because, you know, you have uh, land and property. So, um, make sure my volume's up. I've had people tell me that... Um, uh, they can't hear me through the video. So, well, anyway, so I did hear from a, a realtor that I contacted um, through. I did Craigslist to try to find a, just a local realtor of a property that we wanted to see. Um, and this property has two homes on it: uh, a small, small house, like a guest house, and then it has a, you know, the main house, which is like a, I think it's a three bedroom, uh, or it could be considered a four bedroom. I think it has. Um, a large room that they've used as an office or something that they're calling a bedroom. So anyway, um, our trip is still on. Um, we plan to be leaving on uh, the morning of the 10th. It's going to only take us like four hours to get there. And we're going to be moving, uh, moving uh, traveling north of Fort Smith into Van Buren um, because we're going to try to get as close as we can to the mountain scape area where we can at least have some view of the mountains. Uh, through the Ozarks. So um, we're going to be, um, I haven't booked our hotel yet, I'm still kind of waiting for last minute to make sure that nothing has changed. Today my uh, husband officially goes on vacay for 10 days, 10 business days, so he is going to be available to travel. And um, I have been, I would say, slam busy, I don't know why, but for we have a usually a really steady, steady flow of work coming through here, and so I'm able to keep up with it. But in the last few weeks, I've been bombarded with orders, which I absolutely love. And I would postpone my trip if I if I needed to to be able to fulfill those orders, because you know I get I get fairly um, uh, I'm a proponent of making sure that my customers are happy. So. Um, I'll do what I can to make sure that those orders are fulfilled. So anyway, so we are going to, um, we're going to visit, we're going to stay right out in, actually, on the one of the interstates outside of uh, Fort Smith. We are going to tour the area in Fort Smith, and we're going to be traveling. We have, right now, we have six houses that we're going to be touring. And the realtor's saying that, you know, basically, these houses stay on the market for quite a long time which either means they're really good at, they're going to be good for negotiation because we're a cash buyer or, um, you know, that, that could be a bad sign. I, I don't really know because I haven't walked the properties yet. Um, <clears throat> this realtor said she laughed and chuckled and said she'd lived there 100 years and so she knows the area really well. We're going to expect a lot of knowledge out of her as to, you know, what our business could bring to the community, what we could do in the community to, you know, to fit in. Um, as far as, you know, what our regular lifestyle is, and um, so we're going to be asking lots of questions. I'm going to do my best to video anything that I think that other people would want to see, and um, we're going to do some short clips for on our way down there, and then uh, we're going to do, do some, a little bit of sightseeing. We're planning on driving back home on Saturday, so I'll have everything wrapped up, and I'll bring, uh, my husband's going to bring his <clears throat> his laptop, so I'm going to be able to do some uploading while we're on the trip, I, I think, I hope so. Our hotel says they have high-speed internet, so 
hopefully um, I'll, my experience is when you say you have high speed internet, sometimes it's not the best. So I'm going to see what I can do to um, get those uploaded um, and put those together. Um, let's see. Um, oh, the garden. Um, I still have no peppers, but the, but the garden uh, surprise video that I did for y'all, the squashes have doubled in, I mean, the squash plants have doubled in size and the pepper plants have doubled in size and I've got a tomato plant that's going crazy. The other seven tomato plants are just not, they're not dying, but they're not growing. So I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, I water them every other day and I've got, you know, what they need as far as a organic pesticide on them. There's no really no reason we haven't had any rain, but they're getting lots of sunshine. And I don't know. I'm just going to keep watching to see what happens. Um, I'm going to be doing probably two videos. They're not going to be done until um, tomorrow or Saturday. Um, recipe videos. For those of you who are looking for, you know, recipes, um, I did get, I wanted to mention this, I did get uh, some questions on email and some direct questions to me about my channel. Um, and one of the questions was, are you going to be doing a Q&A? Um, I'll be happy to do a Q&A if I have enough questions to really answer. Right now I'm just monitoring the email box and I'm just answering as I move along. We do have a Facebook page and I answer questions right on the actual page. So if you have questions about anything um, specifically, you're welcome to ask me on our Facebook page. And you can find a link to that at the, in the description box. Um, and if that doesn't help or work, you can go to our blog. And once you click the blog, there's a Facebook um, icon. You can click on the Facebook icon. It takes you right, right to our Facebook page. So um, I'll be doing two recipes for that. Um, some uh, One of the ladies that asked me to do the embroidery video, which I did, um, she thanked me for that and wanted to know um, how much those blankets are. You can visit our website at NorthTexasTees.com and then my husband and I own another website called Military Custom T-Shirts. Um, we also do uh, custom baby stuff. So if you have a baby item or anything like that, I'm not doing truly a commercial or a pitch for my website. I'm just letting you know. Um, my channel is about self-sufficiency. And we run, um, I have tried very diligently to build this business up so we can move anywhere we wanted and still earn an income. So um, while this isn't a commercial for my businesses, I'm sort of just giving information. Um, we we have lots of traction on the website. We're not low on orders or anything like that. And we're, I'm trying. This channel is basically about eating organically, being able to afford organics in a smart way, educating the public on how important organics are, and what is going on in that world. Uh, if anything, uh, what we can do to contribute to having more organics available as well as self-sufficiency, being able to store, can, and um, make really good healthy decisions about eating lower salt, lower fat foods that you can preserve. Um, my husband and I are not preppers, so if you're subscribing to our channel for that, we're not, we're not doing any type of prepping. Not because we don't believe in it, but because we're, we're in the midst of transitioning our life into an early retirement and we don't want to start stockpiling food that we're going to have to move to another state. Will we become preppers? I'm not sure. Um, but I think you should always have at least two weeks of food and water available um, in the event of an, any sort of natural disaster uh, or any situation that would happen in your family that you would need to have food. I think it's very important to have food. Um, so let's see. <clears throat> I think that's about it. So I'm going to keep everybody abreast. Uh, the next two videos are going to be recipes. Um, we're going to, we put a halt sort of on the fireplace. I, we're going to need some uh, final sanding and we're going to prime it. And then I'll do a video, a very short video 
probably a final video on the rest of the completion of the fireplace because I don't think it deems four or five videos. I think I can jam all those together and give you one of just how we kind of did it. But once it's primed and painted, then we're going to do tile. We're going to do tile last because I don't want any paint on the tile. So if you're looking for the fireplace update, that's coming. Um, and we'll probably put together that video once we come back from our trip. We're also going to be planning another video um, traveling into Tennessee and the Kentucky area. And we'll be doing that next spring. So um, it'll be in that time frame uh, that we're going to be traveling. I can't travel for long periods of time because I have constant you know, flow of orders for my products. And I, I don't want to leave people waiting for things to be shipped just because I'm off trying to figure out you know, where we're going to land our next business. But um, I did want to let you know that that's going to be coming, and our our ultimately final decision will, will be made um, once we put our house on the market. Then I'm, um, once we have a sign in our front yard, we're going to know where we're going, and we're going to be uh, moving in that direction. And um, not everybody gets to retire early, um, we have been, both of us have been planning for years to do that, and we're really not retiring. We're just moving uh, ourselves into a mortgage-free environment, a debt-free environment, and we're going to be living off of, you know, our screen print and, and printing and embroidery business. That's what we're going to do. So, um, anyway, I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I look forward to hearing more of your questions. Anything you want to ask, be sure to contact me either through YouTube, um, Facebook, or my blog. You can reach out to me um, through there if you want. So um, please like our video. It really helps. Um, I'm not drawing an income off of YouTube. Um, it's going to take years probably to do that. But um, that would certainly be another stream of income. And I, what I can gather, it's very, very small what people make off YouTube unless, you know, every video you make goes viral. And it's seen by four or five million people at a time, which I'm not to that level. And that's not my big hope and dream. I really want to help and encourage people to live a self-sufficient life and not rely on, you know, um, worrying about where their next paycheck is going to come from. So I hope you have a blessed week. Um, Subscribe, share my channel around. I'd love to, um, you know, have more subscribers. Um, one of the questions was, are you going to be doing giveaways or anything like Yes, I'll be doing all of that stuff, but I'm not at a level yet to where um, that, that's something that I could do. Um, I think the increments are um, 500 subscribers and then 1,000, and I'm not yet close to those marks. But I am going to be planning to do... Um, lots of giveaways and stuff like that just because I do appreciate everybody watching so okay everybody goodbye have a great blessed wonderful safe week and thanks for watching I'll look forward to talking to y'all next time bye